football dad's army. So there's two problems. There is there's two. I'd say there's two problems with this game against Chelsea tonight. The first problem Arsenal have got is Bakayu Saka. Is he fit enough? He looks proper leggy. Right, we bounce back from them um, two defeats against Aston Villa and Bayern Munich. We bounce back against Wolves, winning two 0 putting us back at the top of the title race. And um, you know, all our Man City have games in hand. They have two games in hand after tonight's game against Chelsea. So we need to make sure we win this game. But can we win this game with a leggy looking Bakayu Saka? On that right hand side. Now, who do we, who can we, if we was to replace him, who could we replace him with? Fabio Vieira is a no no. Gabriel Jesus, yeah, possibly, but he does his best work off the left hand side, similar to Martinelli and Trossard. So, Priest Nelson, I also believe he does his best work off the left, left hand side. With, with very left hand side, the balance is not where it's supposed to be. The balance is not where it should be, I should say, actually. There's not... The balance of the wingers or inside forwards, it doesn't... It doesn't match. It's, it's very uneven. It's very left-hand dominant side because the reliability on Bikayu Saka is very heavy. Who would you play there? And then there is an opportunity for a player I've been advocating for. Emil Smith-Rowe. All right. He probably does his best work. It's more central as the more 10. But I think he should be given his chance. I think Emil Smith Rowe should be given a chance just to. We know he's got the quality. We know he's good enough. I believe he's good enough. I actually do because it wasn't so long ago that it was there was a song. They were singing a status quo song about uh, Saka and Emil Smith Rowe coming through together, you know, as good as each other. But, you know, over the recent seasons, Saka has, due to injury to, that's halted ESR's progress, Emil smith -Rowe's progress, the injuries have, have, have halted, halted his, his potential and his progress. So he's sort of been left a little bit behind by Saka. But I do, do you think, listen, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that he could actually help out in that situation in that in that right hand side because i believe in him i believe he can i believe we should use him and uh, you know i think we're gonna have a lot of problems tomorrow uh tonight sorry we're gonna have a lot of problems tonight with with the chelsea team that have found some form and the second thing i'm worried about tonight is cole palmer cole palmer has been in exceptional form he's a generational talent he's brilliant man city are probably regretting selling him <laughs> Because look how good he is. He is an unbelievable player and he's finding form right at the wrong moment for Arsenal. I know we're at home today, but he's a great player. You know, and and he's gonna to look to to he's gonna to look to hurt us, he's gonna to look to have a dig at us, he's gonna to look to score goals against us, he's gonna to look to embarrass us, he's gonna to look to do his best to make sure Arsenal don't stay top of that league and uh, put Man City and Liverpool under pressure. He's gonna to wanna. To, he's gonna to wanna to derail at times. Because listen, if we lose tonight, even though we will stay top, I still I will now believe that then our title challenge is gonna probably be over. Because then we go away to Spurs. The the only game in the running that I was really worried about a few weeks ago. We'll go away to Spurs and that's going to be a very difficult, very difficult game. And they're going to want to do us even more than Chelsea. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think we can do Chelsea tonight? We need to win this game. It's another must win. And then on Sunday, on the 28th, when I say the same thing I'm going to say against Spurs, it's another must win game for us. Every game's a must win game unless Liverpool and City slip up. And I don't think they're going to slip up. I think we're going to lose out on the title just to um, Man City again this season. I can't see. The only trouble they're going to have is probably Spurs as well. They've got to go away to Spurs as well, Man City. And I think they're the only, the only team that are good enough to maybe get a draw or just take some points off of Man City. I don't think anybody else in their, in their running... Is going to be able to unless there's a little slip up from from Man City. They're prone to to slip ups like everybody else there, and they have done 
in the past, but it is very difficult. It is very difficult for me to believe we've got to keep winning. Arsenal have got to keep winning. And we're going to have problems tonight against Chelsea. Definite problems tonight. We need to sort of address. We need to. I don't know. Anybody will see how leggy Saka that he's looking at. Star boy. I mean, he's another great talent for us. He's a great player. But I do think he needs some sort of help on that right hand side. Some, there's got to be a solution for it. We've got to try and give him some kind of break somehow because he's not been performing to his normal standards in recent weeks and the same thing happened last season he, he, his performance has been dropping off and it was noticeable let me know what you think in the comments subscribe to my channel stick a like on the video i'll be back tonight for the watch along i'll see you there hasta la vista